Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ActorX Importer plugin. The ActorX Importer plugin is a pretty essential plugin, especially for the development process for the Unreal Development Kit. Basically, all it is is it reverses what the exporter does. If you're not familiar with the ActorX Exporter, it's basically a plugin for 3ds Max or Maya, and it exports your models into a way that that uh, Unreal can use. Um, the, the files that it uses are PSK for the mesh and PSA for the animations. All right, let's get started. First thing, I just open up um, 3ds Max. So while this is going. Um, first of all, you find it on the website. Just type in ActorX Importer. It's a nice, nice plugin to use. And you have to drop it into your scripts folder. Scripts folder is found in Program Files. Here we go. It's found in Program Files and Autodesk. 3ds Max. This is for, for me. I'm using 3ds Max 2010. Scripts folder. And there it is. This is where you drop your plugin. Um, so you drop the importer in there, and then you open 3ds Max, and you can actually run. You can, with the importer, you can not only just import the ones that you just exported, but using in conjunction with Umodel, which is another great, great plugin. Umodel is a command script plugin that allows you to take apart UPK files. So things that are basically package files from Unreal that are already fully made. Absolutely great. Um, and so with this, um, if you just if you wanted to like view models from from different games made with Unreal, you can go and import them in here, as well as you can take the ones that um, you can take like an, a UPK file that you already that you already had completely made, and then open it up to find out your to to find your animations, your models, blah blah blah. blah. Anyways, I'm going to be <clears throat> I'm going to be taking a I'm going to be taking a mesh from UDK, which is the Iron Guard. It's kind of the, the like the standard uh, mesh that comes with all UDK models. I'm going to take it so that I can have a very nicely fully rigged mesh using the Unreal's me um, mesh system so that it can use like their animations and whatnot. Anyways, <laughs> so if you go up here in Max Script, click on Run, go to ActorX Importer, you'll see this pop-up here. This pop-up here, you can load the mesh, which is Import PSK, and then upload the animations, which is Import PSA. Basically, when you import the uh, PSK, just click on that, and then you find the PSK file that you have taken. So whether it's like your own creation or if it's like if you wanted to do what I'm doing right now, which is using the base using a base mesh with the like the iron guard and then modifying it so that it fits your own thing. And there it is. As you can see here, maximize the viewport. As you can see here, this is the Iron Guard um, mesh that is with pretty much all UDK models. Uh, comes with a kit. And then if you go to Import PSA over here, and I'm just going to find it. This is the animation set. This is the base model set, as you can see here. So, for example, for the run forward running with the rifle. As you can see, it works pretty well. It's fully rigged, very nicely done. Now, 
I changed I changed this one but one of the things that if you wanted to do is that the actress importer does not turn it into an edible poly I did that the, this it doesn't turn it into an edible poly it turns it into an edible mesh I was able to turn it to convert it back into an edible poly so that it's a very easy editing within 3ds max the way that you do that is by going to the by going to the max script it's actually one line it's it's a very simple thing to do you go here I don't know what that is you go here you right click and you go to open listener window oh, I have my micro recorder on you go to the to the listener menu and then you click on open script and you find the plugin so program files autodesk 3ds max scripts and the importer this is the code for the importer so I'm just gonna do a find function and just type in mesh to find where it is located I'm looking for the part where it has already created the skeletal mesh and it has already created the um the it, it creates the not the skeletal mesh sorry it creates the skeleton and creates the mesh and it's getting ready to to um to rig it so i'm looking over here for where it starts to create the skin There it is. Okay. See where it says generate skin modifier? Okay. If you look here, this line, this line of code right there, which I got from the um, from the macro recorder, this line here, which is macros dot run in quotes modifier stack and then convert to poly. This right here will change it from what it already had, which is an edible mesh, into an edible poly before it does the skinning. So basically you're, you create an edible poly, which is the mesh, and then you skin the bones to that edible poly, which makes it fully editable. Um, you can easily find this out by running basically a, just a, a brief test and I'm just gonna do it with this one here. Um, let's put this to the side. But basically, on this Max Listener, you can it, it has a it has the ability to listen or record your movements within 3ds Max, and so you're able to basically create new Max script using that. Uh, you turn on, you enable this, which is the Macro Recorder. And then whatever function that you do here, as you can see, I just clicked on um, select and move, and it's saying this. It's putting the tool mode. But let's say I click on this. Notice that it's recording, and these are co usable codes for uh, Max Script. But basically, I clicked on convert to edible poly, and you can see it pop up right here. Macro run modifier stack convert to edible poly or convert to poly. Just copy and paste that right before it starts skinning it, which is right here. You can say generate generate skin modifier. So it opens to max modifier mode and it selects this new mesh, the new mesh which is the one that it just created from the PSK file. Right after that, boom. Macros.run blah 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 blah. Save that and you're good to go. And just to show that it works completely, I'm just going to open up that Max script once again. So, ActorX Importer. Find the PSK file. Boom. Now you have a fully edible mesh, and you can use all of the wonderful edible mesh things like the deform tool and you can script you can sculpt away and it's still fully functional
Alright guys, thanks for watching.